Yes. Hey, uh, what do you mean by a self-paced course? Well, the course material is available in the form of video lectures, and there are multiple practice problems that come along as well. So you can access all of it anywhere, anytime, and they are available to you for lifetime. No way. Oh, yes way. <sighs> Don't delay and enroll now. Geeks learning together. Hi everyone, uh, welcome to another episode of uh, our interview preparation webinar series. Uh, firstly, let me know in the comments if I'm audible to you and then we can start with the session. Okay, hi Suranj. Uh, a little about today's guest, it's Yash Bansal. And uh, uh, he has uh, he he has currently uh, currently he's placed with Airbus, but he recently graduated from Graphic Era University, and uh, his stream was computer science engineering. Uh, also, uh, he is a system engineer at Airbus in the innovation team. So uh, we, we'll have a questionnaire session with him, wherein we'll be talking about his preparation strategies and how he got into Airbus. Also, if you guys have any queries re related to the preparation or, or any of the strategies, then you can drop in your queries in the comment section. We'll take them up at the end of the session. Uh, so now, without wasting any time, I would call uh, Yash to the stream and start the discussion with him. Yeah, hi. Yeah, yeah I'm good. Great. Uh, although I've told everyone about you, but uh, I would want you to introduce yourself to them. So uh, please, if you can tell uh, more about yourself and 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 your preparation strategy, mm -hmm. uh, then that would be great. Okay. So as you all know, my I am Yash Bansal, and uh, basically I am from Hapur. It's uh, near the Delhi. I have done my graduation from Graphicara University in a stream of uh, B Tech Computer Science. Mm -hmm. After that, I am placed in various companies. But uh, I accept the offer from the Airbus, and here I work as a system engineer in innovation team. So if I am okay. talking about my company Airbus, like it's a um, aeroplane manufacturing company, it's uh, a Europe base, and currently it is uh, all over the world. So yeah, that's all. Okay, okay, that's great. Uh, so uh, my first question to you is obviously, how did you get to know about the placement offer? Because I don't think Airbus uh, does. Uh, all these pool placements or or on campus placements or uh, do they mm -hmm. go to the colleges for hiring students uh, i have no idea so was yours uh, an off campus or an on campus placement offer oh, no basically it's a hackathon because airbus basically going only in the iits and nits college for only for the mechanical engineers but uh, in that case uh, there is a hackathon which is currently held on the hacker Alt every year so from there i get a chance to apply that job okay so you applied via hacker rank and uh, yeah. they gave you hacker a set rank. hacker okay so they provided yeah. set of questions which you answered and th that's yeah. how you entered okay okay all yes. right nice so how many rounds of interview were there uh, can you briefly describe each and every round yeah, like uh, there is a first round of the coding where I get a uh, three questions that if we are, if I am talking about the difficulty level, then the first question is easy. It's about it's from the array and link list. And uh, the second question is a little bit tough because it is from the tree. And the third question, which I attempted half, it's basically from the dynamic programming. When I complete that uh, coding round, then there are basically the two interviews technical and one is HR. The first interview round is basically based on the questions which I have already solved in that uh, coding round. So they are asking about the, what's your approach and how you figure out that solution. 
So that's the thing. And in the second technical round, they're basically asking the basic core subjects from the networking OS, DBMS, these types of question. And in the last round, which is HR round, it is basically more to the managerial stuff, like what's your hobbies, what you like. Yeah. Okay, okay. So there were three rounds according to you. Yes. Okay. All right. In which two are technical and, uh, and one is HR. If okay, so if you have to rate these rounds from easiest to the most difficult one, how would you rate them? Like the first technical round is a. Uh, about medium medium because there you have to do the coding in front of the investigator because in the first round you just do the code but in the second round you have to code in front of them so it's a bit different okay and do and they help the second, also like can you ask them some questions and do they help or yeah like whenever you get stuck in something then they just give you a hint or they just ask another question from which you can get the hint to that problem okay okay all right. Yeah. Uh, so according to you, when when should one start preparing for the placements? Is it right from the first year of college or by the end of the semester or just uh, a month before starting uh, with the placements? Like, when, when should they start? Like according to me, it's a person to person dependent because for me, I just start uh, for the preparations from the last year, like from the beginning of my fourth year, I just start preparing for my placements. But to, one should do is to do the online coding from the very first day of the college because it comes with a practice. It's not like a thing which come come in a overnight. So you have to do the online coding as much as possible, as I can say. Because okay. at the end of the day, all the all the placements are based on the coding. After that, you are being selected in that. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, coming on to your projects, I wanted to know what projects you worked on and what extra you put on your resume to fetch those bounty points or to make to make your resume uh, look different from the rest. Or, or I know HR HR mm -hmm. people have their own criteria of shortlisting resumes, but uh, they look for something that is very different from rest of the rest of the candidates. So, uh, what do you think was that one thing which attracted them the most in your resume? like uh, in that time uh, all the peoples have have projects like the library system all the basic stuffs but i work on the ml based projects and ai based projects along with that i have also done a iot based project which is currently used by a company as their a model there so i think that you that your project shows a diversity in your resume because in the company you have not work only a single project you have to be a diverse on the different technologies. So that's why I think that the projects are from the different domains. It's not like you have just only opt a web development projects or something else. We have to be diverse in the older domains. Can you tell us more about the project that you worked on? You said that it's currently being used by a company. So so can you give more details? Uh, yeah, like, like did, did we purchase it from you or, or how did it happen? It's a big thing because if somebody, some company is using your product. <laughs> like uh, you have traveled in a metro, so you have uh, used a metro card for making the payments. So yeah. I basically redesigned that model and it is used by a app company. It's by used by a cab company, which is operating by a app. So basically they are using that card RFID card to receive the revenue from the customers. It's basically the metro card project, but that implement on our cars. Okay. So what does the card do? It just to uh, a simple debit card, credit card system, but without any SIM card or without any energy, it can work. It's a RFID based technology. Okay, so it helps them in payment or what? Yeah, like uh, in the mid of COVID now, so they have issues with accepting the cash payment. So they basically use that card to make that payment happen. Okay, okay. All right. Uh, coming to the preparation strategy, what was your preparation strategy? 
for the placements and and when did you start it i think you just mentioned that you started in the last semester but did you have any uh, strategy in mind or did you have any such thing wherein you knew that these these are the topics that you will be covering and this much time you'll be given to all these subjects like my very first technique is to prepare for the coding round because that is common in older older placement processes so i first start coding from the code chef and then i use the gigs for gigs itself because it provides a list of questions from where you can start upon and yeah i just start from the coding part after that uh, all the basic uh, subject knowledge like from the dbms and os they are just come come in the last month so i just prepare them in the last but first i focus on the code okay, okay. all right uh i am done asking questions from my side uh, but i'll take up some queries from the comment section uh bala kishore wants to know uh, how many rounds for system test engineers are there who are having 2 years of experience for airbus he's asking i don't know exactly but yeah there are basically two technical rounds and one hr round for all the employees who are being placed in the airbus and okay, some okay, are okay. all the domain base too. okay then the the same goes for those who have experience mm -hmm. okay himanshu wants to know uh, what were the coding questions asked from you like the very first question is from the link list it is basically a w link list in which i have to found whether it is a circular or not it's a very simple straightforward question and the second question i just remember like it's about finding that a tree having some it's basically last insisters something question i don't remember exactly what's that question okay no. and that third one is from the dp itself okay all right uh parth is asking what was the difficulty level for all interviews mm, if i scale down from 0 to 10 then it's around 8 8.5 okay for all moderate level yeah for all if we take a average around because the first one is easy but the second one is bit tougher okay uh so uh, if you got any referral i think rachi wants to know how to get the referral like uh, if you know someone from airbus so that might be you can get the referrals but yeah i can tell you that uh, airbus is now hiring at a very big scale because currently there is a big project which is working for for the india so might be in future you get a chance to appear in that okay uh next is what is the eligibility criteria for airbus it's a very wide question because it's uh, basically depend on a domain to domain but for okay, the system like engineer what is it's yours, basically uh, was there any percentage criteria yeah like it's a 65% in the 12th and uh, above uh, 7 gpa in btech okay above 7 in btech all right Anurag says, "If we are good in problem solving but lack in development part, then what are the chances of getting selected?" For getting a job, you are basically good in problem solving, and some basically the the subjects like the DBMS and OS, because the company itself providing some trainings of three to six months, in which they are basically. learning you the development part so if you don't know the any web development so it's not a very big problem you will get learn when when you get selected okay uh do you have any idea about uh, mc eligibility criteria as well oh i think it's the same because in 12th it's a 65% and for mc it's around also a 7 gpa around. Okay. In which year did you start preparing for placement? 
like from the fault here. Okay. Basically, for the placement, but uh, I do the online coding from the very first year. Mm -hmm. uh, someone wants to know if they hire BCA students also. Mm, I don't know exactly. Okay. Uh, G Mohan Reddy wants to know when you joined Airbus. In the month of August. Eleventh August. Of Okay, okay. I will just wait for a few more people to put up their queries and then we can wind up the session. Uh, okay, uh, Aniket is asking if he can get a referral from you. <laughs> okay, so how can I can approach you or how Okay, so what Anikate can do is, uh, if you are on LinkedIn, then you can uh, send me yeah, your yeah. LinkedIn profile in the private chat. I'll just put it at here in the comment section. And those who want to reach out to you, then they can directly reach out to you from here. Okay. Let me just share. Yeah, sure. Are you able to send it? Yeah, yeah, just wait. It's so you can send by the end of the session till then we can take up some questions which are popping up here. Okay. Uh, so Parth wants to know were interviewers asking more about DS or they were predilect predilected towards development or open source? Yeah, for me, it's mostly on the DS. But they also ask some questions from the projects as well. Okay, okay. Uh, Neha wants to know if hiring is still in progress. Yeah, like for some domain, they are still in progress. Okay. Yeah, you can check uh, from the LinkedIn page of Airbus. Okay, okay. Uh, I've put, uh, put Yash's LinkedIn profile in the comment section and I've also starred the comment. So you can directly uh, get in touch with him from here. Uh, Mohan Reddy wants to know which job role you got. Was it development or testing? It's a development role. Okay. Thank you, Anurag. Uh, I'm sure you know that Geeks for Geeks is always there to help you out in any possible way. Uh, Neha wants to know oh, what what all domain are they hiring for? If, if you have any idea about that. Currently, it's for the full stack development. They are currently hiring. Or you can just check all the listener from LinkedIn page itself. Yeah, yeah. OK, OK, all right. I think most of the questions got answered very descriptively and our questionnaire also uh, has been answered. So uh, the whole session went well. And I would like to thank you, Yash, for joining in and for helping so many students who are preparing to get into Airbus. I hope the session was helpful to them. 
and uh, if if you have any more queries uh, then you can directly reach out to yash his linkedin profile is in the comment section uh, and and thank you again yash for uh, connecting with us it was great having you here yeah thank you all okay bye Uh, I would like to share my screen with everyone, and uh, because I wanna uh, tell you that uh, Geeks for Geeks has its own events page wherein you can check out the webinars that have taken place in the past and that will be taking place in the future. So I'll be just sharing my screen. Yeah, I hope my screen is visible to you all. So this is the Geeks for Geeks website. And when you come down, uh, you will see something called events at Geeks for Geeks. So if you tap on this link, then the events page will open up. And here you can check out all the events that have taken place in the past or uh, the events that will be taking place in the future. So this is the upcoming events page. We have all these events that are uh, that that will be live uh, this week and next week. So you can you can just check out or you can see if you've missed any of the events and you want to uh, check out the video uh, for it, then you can just go to our events page and check it out. Yeah, uh, thank you everyone for joining in. And this was all about today's session. We'll be back again with another session really soon.